Soil structure is a vital component of soil functioning, and it is very important that good structure is maintained. Soil structure is negatively affected by compaction, and in grasslands, compaction can be caused by either livestock treading or by heavy machinery operations. The visual evaluation of soil structure, also known as the VES method, offers a simple, quick procedure for assessing soil structure quality. The basic principle is that a sample block of soil is extracted by a spade and examined with regard to a number of properties or with reference to a score sheet. The operator then applies numeric scores according to their observations. The scores range from SQ1, indicating good structural quality, to SQ5, indicating compact or poor structural quality. The score sheet additionally indicates potential soil management requirements with SQ scores of 1 and 2 highlighted in green, indicating no changes in management. SQ3, highlighted in orange, indicates potentially some long-term improvements are required. SQ4 and 5, highlighted in red, indicates the need for more immediate improvements. The method requires simple equipment to conduct, which includes a spade for extracting the sample block, the VES score sheet, which is available online, a measuring tape for measuring layers within the sample block, a trowel or knife to cut open the sample block, and finally a plastic sheet or tray to examine the soil on. In terms of selecting sampling points to assess, in fields which are generally uniform, it is recommended to assess up to 10 sampling points which are typical of the field. In situations where great variation exists, the field can be divided into different areas and the number of sampling points representing typical conditions can be assessed within each of those areas. It may also be beneficial to assess atypical points within a field. Such areas could include ground around water troughs or near gateways, which are known to have been subjected to compaction. To conduct the method, an initial hole which is deeper and wider than the sample block is required. This is especially important when assessing grasslands, as the dense grass root mat which binds the soil together often makes extracting an intact sample block difficult. When digging the initial hole, it is important to leave the side from which the sample block is to be extracted undisturbed, in this case the area to the left of the operator. The sample block needs to be approximately 20 centimeters in width, 15 centimeters in breadth, and between 20 and 25 centimeters in depth, so the initial hole must be at least 25 centimeters in depth. The sample block is then carefully marked out using single insertions of the spade where possible. Once marked out, the sample block can then be levered out of the ground on the spade and is placed on the plastic sheet or tray. The first stage of assessment requires the operator to identify any layers present within the sample. This can be done by gently probing the soil with the trowel or knife. The depth of each layer is then recorded, in this case 6 cm for the first layer and 15 cm for the second. Next, the sample block must be opened, and to do this, the trowel or knife is used to slice through the root mat, and the sample is gently pulled apart like opening a book. Each layer is then assessed separately. It is often easier to start with the lower layer and to work upwards through the sample. Aggregates, or the bound units of soil, are carefully exposed by hand. The operator must systematically work through the VES score sheet, assessing a number of soil properties. First of all, the size and appearance of aggregates along with rupture resistance, or how easy it is to break or crumble aggregates, is assessed. Next, porosity within the aggregates is examined, along with rooting. The sample is also compared with a number of reference images, indicating different SQ classifications. 
Finally, a small fragment, about 1.5 cm, is obtained and examined with reference to the last section of the score sheet. An SQ score is then applied which best describes the sample. The same procedure is done for any other layers, in this case the top layer, again systematically going through the score sheet. To obtain the final overall SQ score, the SQ scores for each layer is multiplied by the depth of that layer. In this case, layer 2 with a score of SQ2 is multiplied by the layer depth of 15 cm. This gives a layer score of 30. The same is done for the first layer. Both layer scores are then added together, giving a score of 36 in this case. This figure is then divided by the total depth of the sample block, in this case giving an overall SQ score of 1.7. This score indicates that this particular soil is of good structural quality, as indicated by the green band on the score sheet.